Wembley Stadium, and it's the last of Madonna's three concerts here in London. It's packed to capacity in there, and most of those people have paid £16 each to get in. But even at that price, there are some people who won't be welcome here tonight. company doesn't put out live material they put out a live album with compilations mostly of like uh of like one tour maybe like different nights each night and you don't get like a whole night like you saw you know that at Wembley or wherever you saw it You're, you have the whole concert on tape you have that whole concert and you want to listen to it you say hey how was this concert and i remember when she did that and when she did this oh that was just great This is a tape here that I made at the concert, like, and so I'll take it, I'll put it in here, and there. Thank you! And hello, London, England. And then now what I'll do is, if I don't like the quality, I'm going to mess around with all these bits here, like, and I'm going to get it better. Like, I'll add a bit of treble, like, add a bit of bass, like, and if you've got, at home, like, two cassette decks like this, like a lot of people have, then what I'll do is I'll take it from one, and I want to record it onto the next one, like, but with this, like, thing here, like, I'm going to make it all sounding dead, dead good. <laughs> Well, we object to any sort of policy. Um, it diminishes revenue to a, a huge um, section of people that work in the music industry. We're not just looking at artists or record companies, but, but um, retailers, people that make inlay cards. There's about 26,000 people employed in one, one way or another by, by the record industry. And that, that's really our primary objection to it. Say 2,000 people go to a show, all right? If so, say, for example, 200 people would want to record in that show. Well, that's not a significant amount of demand for the record company to, to, to put the wheels in motion to start producing on, 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 a, on a grand scale. So it's got to be met at a street level, you see. So when it's met at a street level, they don't like it. I got a, a picture of her like that, and what I do is stick it down. I get a bit of, like, a uh, letter to say, stick it down the side with my typewriter, I type out the uh, names of the songs, like, and that uh, makes it, it, it's, it's the artwork. You've got it, when you're selling these, you've got to look good. They're a big business, they're organised, they got lots of money, they have you know, expensive equipment, expensive cars, they fly here and there. Um, they're rich men, very rich men. I mean, I make a living. I mean, I live in rented accommodation, I've got a beaten up old van, I've got no great assets. Bootleggers are not Robin Hood figures, or at least many of them aren't. These are guys that are spivs, they're wide boys, they're in it for the wedge, and they can take as much out of it as they can. They put a Nana Mascari bootleg out if it started selling. They make about 500 quid a week if they're lucky. We're going to put a master there. This is what we've taken when I uh, did it before on the cassettes. Then what I'm doing is got blank tapes. I've got one blank tape there, one uh, blank tape there, one blank tape there. Now, the master is going to record onto there at very, very high speed. All we do is press one button. I think I'm fair game for people who want to come and take my performances as a performance and take it away and, uh, and, and listen to it and share it. And if they want to flog it for £3.50, as I say, providing it's not overly expensive, then I don't, you know, I don't see why they shouldn't do that. It takes about three minutes. That's both sides of the tape done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put them into the case there. I'll do probably about uh, 20 of these cassettes in about an hour. I'm 
And there we go, that's it. The product is uh, ready for the market, so do you say. At Wembley, the record companies wouldn't allow anybody, even us, to film more than the first couple of minutes of the opening songs. So our cameras can't show you any more of this performance. Videos are the latest form of bootlegging. So far, only a few have been made and sold. They go for between 15 and 20 pounds a piece. Is this the future for bootlegging? 